All right, David Leopold joins us now from Cleveland, Ohio, an immigration attorney, served as the president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. And uh, good to see you, too. How do you think this is going to be argued, th this appeal? We, we haven't really seen any paperwork. Well, I think, uh, look, we have visa, we, ha we have immigration law that's been in place for many years. We have, we have, uh, we already have extreme vetting. We have a law that prevents people from coming into the country if there are security risks. I would agree that there is no irreparable harm to the government if this stay, if the, if the block, if the hold that was put on it by the federal judge in, in Washington state stays in place while this case goes on appeal. So I think that uh, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is likely to let this case stay where it is now, let, this, uh, let, the, let people continue to travel while they sort it out. Uh, I think it's important though to see what's going on in this country and that's that the courts the courts, whether it be in New York State, whether it be in San Francisco, whether it be in Seattle, whether it be in Los Angeles, they are standing up to this, uh, what is essentially a Muslim ban that has been put into place by Donald Trump. On the first day this policy was rolled out, this travel ban, the, the White House said that 109 people were affected by it, but we're now learning right. that tens of thousands of people were, had their visas revoked. What mm -hmm. happens to those people now? Well, first point, you know, they said 100 people, uh, it was only 100 people, and they kind of dismissed it. They said, you know, a few people were inconvenienced, and by the way, of those few people, let's talk about security risks. Bottom line, and that was Rens Prius, that was the chief of staff last Sunday. And then it turns out, right, as you, as you pointed out, that there's really tens of thousands. The highest figure that I saw was 100,000. Um, bottom line is the, the administration can only defend this illegal un-American travel ban by lying about it. And it offends not, it, it, it affected not only the hundreds of thousands of people, the, the tens of thousands of people whose visas had been revoked, but also people who couldn't get visas, who can't apply for visas, people who were sent back and had their visas canceled, uh, their families, people who are left in the United States tonight. You know, for example, if you had somebody who was in the United States on a work permit and they traveled, and then all of a sudden the ban went into pl the the ban went into place. They couldn't get back here last week. Now their families are here without them. So the the ramifications are not only for the people whose people whose visas were canceled, the people who were deported, but the people who couldn't apply for visas and for their families and for the businesses in the United States that can't do that can't do businesses, hospitals that can't continue surgeries. I mean, this whole thing is a disaster. And what Donald Trump has has you know what Donald Trump has done in the first two weeks of his presidency is is wreak havoc on the United States, caused instability, embarrassed us in front of world leaders, and really brought shame you know shame to our country. Well, so I, I suppose as an immigration lawyer, you you would uh, take exception. I mean, the tweet that he put out uh, earlier saying that because the ban was lifted by a judge, many very bad and dangerous people may be pouring into our country as an immigration right. lawyer is, is that likely to happen <laughs> well first of all he called that judge a so-called judge right so-called judge um how disrespectful i've never in my life seen a president a sitting president just show such disrespect and contempt for another branch of our government how dare he how dare he that judge is a federal judge we had we, last year he he questioned the the ability of a judge to do his job simply because the judge had mexican parents now he doesn't like the decision uh, so he questions whether this judge is a real judge but you know donald trump is welcome to disagree with the opinion of a court presidents do that they disagree with the opinion of the court but show some respect because he, when he disrespects one of our solemn branches of government he disrespects us all um, and uh, to, to your point, to your question, look, um, it's, it's again, it's another Trump falsehood. You know, as was pointed out earlier, uh, not one person ever has been killed or murdered or whatever because of people from these countries in a terrorist attack in the United States. And now to all of a sudden say all kinds of bad people are going to come in, let's look at who was coming in. There was a four-month-old Iranian little girl who was going to have a heart surgery. Really? She's dangerous? There were, there were doctors who were coming back to perform surgery.
There were artists who were coming back in to continue their work. There were students who were coming back in to continue studying. There were long-term green card holders who were coming home to be with their families. All of these people, by the time they get on the plane, by the time they've lived in the United States, they've all been vetted. They've all gone through vetting over and over again. So Donald Trump doesn't understand the basics of, of the immigration system in the United States, or he's lying, or both. All right, well, on that point, we'll have to leave it there. David Leopold, good to have you with us. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, David. Well, Donald Trump predicting that his travel ban will prevail in court. Now ahead, we will hear from Trump supporters who stand behind the president's decision. Stay with us.